What are genetic circuits? Genetic circuits are a complex system of gene and protein interactions within a cell that produce a logical function, similar to what is seen in electronic circuits. It is where cells are programmed to detect a specific stimuli and initiate a response. Here we have the basic concept of a genetic circuit, known as transcriptional control, where gene A is transcribed to produce protein A to then initiate transcription of gene B to produce protein B. In 2000, the first gene circuits were designed and constructed in bacterial systems. This included the toggle switch, allowing cells to switch gene expression from on to off, and an oscillator, where gene expression is induced in a rhythmic manner. Since then, synthetic biology has allowed scientists to not only replicate these complex genetic circuits, but also design and engineer different types of artificial circuits into another organism. These different types of circuits include genetic switches and oscillators, as well as filters and communication modules. Here we'll be focusing on communication modules in genetic circuits, specifically the quorum sensing circuit and how it can be a useful tool for therapeutic applications. First, what is the quorum sensing system? Originally described as autoinduction, the quorum sensing system was discovered in the gram-negative bacteria marine species Vibrio fishery in the 1970s. This bacterium lives symbiotically with many marine organisms, including the Hawaiian bobtail squid and fluoresces in high cell density environments. This system is used in nature as a population control mechanism. It is part of a signaling pathway that allows these bacterial cells to detect, respond and release chemical molecules called autoinducers. It is a type of cell-to-cell -cell communication that induces genes to luminesce in response to high cell density. On the transcriptional level, it is the Lux operon that controls this quorum sensing circuit. The Lux operon consists of five luciferase structural genes and two regulatory genes called Lux R and Lux I. The Lux I gene encodes the synthase enzyme that produces the autoinducer known as n ethyl homoserine lactone or HCL. The Lux R gene encodes the transcription factor that binds to the Lux operon, which is activated by these HCL autoinducers. Together, these genes can regulate the Lux operon and can be incorporated into other genetic circuits to create a novel signaling pathway in a specific organism. This was demonstrated in a study by you and colleagues in 2004. They engineered E. coli cells using this type of communication module to express cellular death when reaching a cell density threshold. The experimental results demonstrated that by adding the killer gene downstream from the Lux I promoter, the quorum sensing circuit can control the expression of killer protein concentrations to initiate cellular death. So how would this advance therapeutic applications? This tackles the antibiotic resistant issue that current medicine is facing today. Instead of killing the harmful bacteria with another therapeutic agent, such as antibiotics, the bacteria itself is reprogrammed with this genetic circuit to alter its behavior and initiate apoptosis. The use of genetic circuits in therapeutic applications was continuously explored in further studies. A paper by Anderson and colleagues were able to engineer bacterial cells to interact and invade cancer cells in tumor microenvironments such as hypoxic conditions. This was demonstrated with the coupling of two sensing circuits to induce the in gene. The two circuits included the Lux Quorum Sensing Circuit and an anaerobic sensing circuit which included the hypoxia-responsive formate dehydrogenase promoter, also known as FDHF. This specific promoter was used as hypoxic conditions mimic tumour microenvironments, therefore acting as an appropriate environmental cue. These sensing circuits were coupled to the IN gene, a gene that encodes the invasin protein found in Yersinia pseudotuberculosis. This functions by invading surrounding cells that express the beta-1 integrins, thus modelling the output component for the synthetic construction. The experimental results from this study revealed that with this synthetic signalling pathway created with coupling sensing circuits, E. coli cells were able to express invasion proteins in hypoxic conditions. It also revealed that invasion, when under the control of the quorum circuit, was present at high cell density levels. It also measured high levels of invasion proteins invading HeLa cells, which is a cell line derived from mammalian cervical cancer cells. 
So how does this impact biomedical therapeutics? The approach in coupling sensing genetic circuits to induce a specific response in tumour-associated environments acts as the necessary tool needed to create a cancer therapeutic agent that is target-specific and prevents the harming of surrounding tissues. However, this is just a stepping stone to the right direction. Further experimental research is needed to incorporate this synthetic circuit with a controlled cytotoxic element to eliminate malignant cells. Overall, genetic circuits are a useful toolbox in the field of synthetic biology where they can be applied to benefit biomedical therapeutics. By engineering synthetic biological systems with the aid of genetic circuits, scientists can explore the biological signaling pathways within a cell on a transcriptional level. This not only provides a better understanding in how cells can communicate, but gives scientists the capability to reprogram and produce specific responses in particular environments whilst communicating and controlling a cellular population. Even though there is only preliminary studies on the quorum sensing circuit in biomedical applications, this circuit has the potential to produce novel therapeutic agents in tackling human diseases.